Hello all, Joshua Fremont Survival, and today we are going to be taking a look at a vintage <coughs> chicken alakeen. I believe this is from either the late 80s or the early 90s, and it looks like it was packaged in McAllen, Texas. Some of the other ones that I have for, were from McMullen, South Carolina. So uh, let's get this open. Okay, and already I can see that this thing's kind of was not handled well. There's the main. is the peanut butter charms but these have these are these are shot beverage base powder uh, lemon lime and that actually feels like it's still pretty good Let's see. Whoa. we have sorry Let's see what we got here this is a, uh, oh, one of the freeze-dried peach bars I've heard about. I haven't seen one before. Uh, let's see. Cocoa beverage powder. And uh, the accessory pack. And we can't forget, <laughs> sorry, the crackers. And spoon. So first up is gonna be this freeze-dried fruit bar. Please excuse the airplane. Dry fruit bar. Let's see how we're looking. Oh wow, that is perfect. Mmm, smells good. And tastes fantastic. Yeah, they don't have anything like these in the newer MREs. This is uh, kind of going by the wayside, but this is a very good snack. It held up to be 30 years old or older. It held up very well. It tastes just like a peach. Next up, I'm gonna add some of this lemon lime beverage powder the water here it's not a whole lot of water in there but oh it smells perfect i used to they still have these in uh mres today and i like to um i'd eat it like candy i just pour it straight into my mouth probably gonna be a little overkill Yeah, you can see it. Let's give this a try. That's actually, that was actually a perfect amount of water and mix. That mix is not a, even in today's MREs, the mixes are not very strong and you end up having like diluted tasting, um, um, sorry, diluted tasting flavored drink. But yeah, it's like the charms, but like, see that? Yeah, it's not supposed to do that. <laughs> so we're going to chunk that. <laughs> now, up, let's try the crackers. And the charms leaked all over everything. Ooh, had a nice little hiss to it. Let's pull these out. They held up in great shape. Usually, MRE stuff doesn't the crackers usually break up but these actually these held up quite nice all right let's try some of this peanut butter mm, that peanut butter don't look right yeah that's how it goes with some of these vintage mres yeah i tasted it something ain't right about that that's, I mean, well, these vintage ones, I mean, some people were like, oh, I'm going to try this crazy thing and hope I don't get sick. Well, I'm, I'm not one of those guys. I, I got a job, a wife, kids. I got stuff to do. I ain't got time to be down with some type of <laughs> sickness. Might be a little disturbed. All right. 
It tastes perfect. It tastes great. And basically, this is new era hardtack. And I mean, the Roman soldiers were using the same type of recipe, you know, ship biscuits, um, hardtack, um, panzer waffles, you know, stuff like that. Bro. Well, ain't too bad. And here inside the accessory pack, I mean, it's still, it hasn't changed much. Uh, even from today's standards, uh, matches, which the matches disappeared for a while in the MREs. There was a few years where there wasn't any matches. And then I'm starting to see them again. I, I don't really know what was going on there. Tasty's Choice Coffee, still, still good. Domino Sugar, which is pretty cool. They actually have a name brand on stuff because the ones today really don't. I'd Eye Salt, TP. Wet nap and the creamer, and also can't really find these anymore. Is the Tabasco sauce? Uh, this looks kind of looks kind of roached, like it's been sitting there for a while. Sorry. So, but when I first came in, the the MRE still had the the Tabasco sauce bottles in them, and now you can't. They don't have. They don't put the little bottles in there anymore. Now it's a uh, a pack. Like a hot sauce pack, which these are always kind of neat to have in your in your thing, because you could, you know, if you didn't want to use all of it at one time, you could stow it and go, and it, you know, you could use it over a couple of meals because your next MRE you may not have one. So, uh, kind of wish they'd go back to this. So now let's brew up some instant coffee. I'm not a huge instant coffee fan, but I got it here. It's in good shape. And how often do you get to drink thirty year old coffee? Coffee. Creamer still looks like it's creaming. Yeah, creamer's still good. And last but not least, sugar. Whoa! About oh, R-U-N-N-O-F-T. There we go. Looking pretty good. Give me one second. Ladies and gentlemen, let me... See, I'm not a pro camper. Uh, I've been camping for a lot since I was a kid, but I'm not a pro like some of these people. Oh. There we go. Wow. That thing sounded angry. <sighs> like a wounded animal. All right. Here we go. Let's give this a stir. All right, we're gonna let that cool off a minute because that water's so, hot. while the coffee cools and I got the main kind of heating up, uh, we're gonna do a little surprise. A Hershey's Desert Bar. These uh, kind of were supposed to be the replacement to the Tropical Bar. It was in a line of D-Ration, and then you have the Tropical Bar, and then now you have the uh, Desert Bar. Please forgive my dog, he's... Uh, short and feisty and he sees a squirrel or a leaf not knowing of him so you know since we're doing an early 90s mre let's do a early 90s uh, chocolate bar these were sent off uh these were produced um for a desert storm but the war ended before they could be used so whatever quantity that they had the stuff they already made up they packaged them and sold it as kind of a novelty item and uh, I think it'd be kind of a good idea to start bringing something like this back. Uh, let's see here. Ingredients is milk, chocolate, um, cocoa butter, chocolate, soya, lectin, emulsifier, and vanilla, and artificial flavoring and egg whites. Let's open this thing up and see. Look at that. Let's get a couple more looks. See what we got. Oh, missed a spot on reading. Nutrition information, serving size, one ounce, one bar serving per bar is 150 calories. And uh, let's see, protein, three grams. I mean, that's a, 
that's not that's not bad calorie wise for a uh, for a chocolate bar this size. I mean, it's not bad at all. So let's, let's open this up. Whoa, yeah, stuff is uh. You see the color? The color still smells like chocolate, and you have to you have to forgive me. Yeah, that's kind of. doesn't taste too bad it's very chalky very very chalky uh, probably I got it off eBay it probably wasn't stored well yeah it kind of tastes like sour milk yeah I think I, luckily I only took a small piece of that they weren't whoever had them before me weren't they weren't stored very well I mean, this would be perfect for crumbling up into milk chocolate, but sorry guys, it wasn't nothing more spectacular, but as you can see, if some stuff that you get is in perfect shape and sometimes you get a handful of uh, dusty chocolate. <laughs> All right, that coffee's cooled down. Let's, uh, let's give that a whirl. It tastes like coffee. <laughs> I mean, freeze dried stuff, it lasts for, for a good while. So, I was actually surprised that the sugar and the creamer had held up. I recently just had a uh, an MRE for lunch yesterday. I had an extra Lithuanian, and um, I was I had it for lunch out in the woods. And then today I had a, a packet of the oh, the drink mix left over, and I was like, "Well, I'm gonna have that." And I went and got it, and the stuff was like gooey. All inside was gooey, so I don't know what happened there. So it's, it's funny how some stuff will last and some stuff won't. All right. And here is the main. Let's give this a look-see. Get my knife. And judging by the material that this thing is made with this pouch i'm guessing that this is a uh a 90s because the, the ones from the 80s had the um the smaller brown pouches it smells pretty good let's, let's get it out into a tray and there we go it actually uh whew, sorry smoke it actually reminds me of uh, the chicken tetrazzini that the MREs used to have. Ooh, that smoke is getting rough. Sorry, guys. Let's see. It tastes perfect. It tastes pretty, pretty good. To be that old, I mean, it's... It gets me sometimes if I if I eat something this old, it's like I'm eating a chicken that died 30 years ago. <laughs> so not not a bad flavor to it. It does remind me of the chicken tetrazzini. And last but not least, the gum. Same stuff that they've uh, same style packaging they use today. Tastes perfect. Tastes like the same gum we use today. Chicklets. It's wet now. Clean up my hands a little bit. And there we go. Well, guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, uh, using this old MRE. It uh, w wasn't too bad. I was kind of... Uh, I hate that the that the charms, you know, were were roasted and just melted, were just goo. But I mean, what can you expect when you have something that's this old? Um, the MREs have evolved a lot since then. Um, you get you get a lot more food now in an MRE than you than you used to, and um, 
the I think out of all this, my my favorite piece was the um, was the freeze dried fruit bar, the the peach bar. That that tasted amazing. Like I was really impressed with that. That I wouldn't mind if they brought something like that back again. That was that was actually very good. Um, I was kind of disappointed by the the Hershey uh, tri, uh, desert bar, but I mean, still thirty years. I mean. I uh, wish that it had been in better shape, and it was cracked, like bent, um, because of a mistake on my part. I had my MREs displayed, and I had the the tropical or the sorry the desert bars displayed too, and one of the MREs slipped and knocked it knocked all three of my desert bars off the shelf, and they all cracked. So, I'm eventually I'm gonna maybe I can find another one that's you know full full piece and. But at least I still got a few of them. But um, thank you for watching and have a blessed day.